weather with Chief Meteorologist Haley Clausen. Today was a warm day in the desert. Palm Springs coming in with a high temperature of 101 degrees taking the lead for the warmest day of the year. Prior to today, we did have one other triple digit day back earlier this month on April 3rd. It's been a warm year, don't get me wrong, but we've been pretty fortunate in regards towards not a lot of triple digit days. Today just marked the second day of triple digits. When we're talking about highs just in the 90s, that's been 19 days. So yes, it's been on the warm side, but we've certainly seen hotter years as well. Well, today may be the warmest day of the year, but tomorrow is only cranking it up a notch and that will be taking the title. Then we do have this ridge of high pressure that's continuing to build in from the west and it is an incredibly strong ridge of high pressure, keeping us very dry, allowing us to enjoy plenty of sunshine, keeping humidity low, but sending those temperatures far above normal and average high would be in the upper 80s for this time of year. However, what's going to be happening as we head into Saturday is there is going to be a trough of low pressure that begins to develop from the north. We're still going to be warm, no doubt about it. We're still going to be dry, but Saturday does begin a cooling trend. Still looking to keep us in the triple digits, but those temperatures will be dropping down drastically as we head into Sunday. So until we can get a little bit more relief, we know these things. But we need to keep doing these things and saying these things and telling our friends and family these things because still too often are we talking about rescues happening on the hiking trails or somebody leaving behind a pet or a child unattended in a locked vehicle. Keep these tips in mind. Check on your neighbors because we want to make sure that everybody is being safe. The heat is nothing to mess around with. It's certainly not biased. And check out the state as a whole. We are in drought conditions, specifically looking here in Riverside County, predominantly in severe and extreme drought. And then when we're talking about the state as a whole, this deeper red you're seeing here, more than 5% of the state is in exceptional drought. That's as dry as it gets. And unfortunately, that number has increased from just over 1% at the beginning of this year. On your Comfort Air 7-day forecast, again, I said a cooling taking place through the weekend, but we are going to have to deal with a lot of wind, mainly Saturday night, more so into Sunday to allow those temperatures near 90 degrees, followed by another warm up. John Karen. Mm -hmm. Another warm up that's going to last till about October and November. <laughs> it has to happen at some point. Oh, really? Thank you, Haley.